Now the first section of this course is about Google Classroom. Google Classroom, as its name indicates, it's a digital classroom. And since it's a digital classroom, it allows you to go beyond the classical boundaries of the classroom, which is uh, determined by four walls and a board and desk and etc. Now, before moving on, I want to uh, note you that here I have two windows for the classroom. The first window, you can uh, distinguish it by here, this gray icon, and the second one here, the red icon. Here I made two accounts in order to explain how does Google Classroom work from the uh, viewing point of a teacher, this one, the window, and from the point of a student, which is this one by the red icon. Okay, so I will be working in parallel as a teacher and as a student in order to explain how does the system works. The first thing we need to do in Google Classroom is to create a class. Suppose that, for example, let's suppose that I'm a science teacher and I need to join my students into a digital classroom. So the first, the first place you should go is here, this bottom, in order to create a class. You are a teacher, so you have to create a class. Our students, they will join your class. When you push the bottom, create your class, you have to continue here. You have to understand the school and students and everything here. And then you continue, you uh, put a name for class. For example, let's call my here. Let's call my class as the science theater. Okay, so this is the science theater. Here in the section, if you have more than one section, more section one, section two, section three, you put it. And here it's optional to uh, uh, put a subject. For example, let's say uh, the subject is uh, general sciences. General sciences means uh, biology, chemistry, physics, and mathematics. Now let's create the class is ready to be created and we are on the track here as you can see. So we are waiting for the class to be created in order to start. So the class is created here as you can see. Uh, this is the science theater class. Uh, you can change the theme, you can upload a photo, whatever you want. I am, to me, I am convinced with this uh, theme. If you are not, you can change it here from select a theme. Okay, here you can choose any, there is a gallery and you can choose any photo that you want. Let's uh, choose this butterfly. So this will be the class theme. The new class theme here is the butterfly. So now the class is, has been created and we need to start inviting students. There are two ways of inviting students here. Let's go to the students icon. You press on it and you can invite students. Now, the first way, if you know the email for the student, you can type it here, okay? For example, you can know, you have, for example, the ready uh, emails uh, address for the students. You can type it and invite them directly. Here you can click on invite, you can select the name of the students. This is another way. But we have another way, which is the most easiest way. As you can see here, there is a class code. Every class has its own code, okay? So now... Every student needs to join this class without invitation. He must just simply type this code. Now, this code here, I will copy it, and I will go to the window of the students. Now I am a student, and I need to join this class, which is the Science Theater. You will click here. Again, I remember, uh, remind you that I will shift, I'm shifting to the students window. Join the class here. Just type the code here. I have copied it, I will paste it, join. So now, I, as a student, I will be inside the class theater here, the science theater, sorry. So the science theater, Ibrahim Yassin is the name of the structure which I uh, created this class. So now we have a ready class here with one student.